Michael Leck and uh, Ryan Mann from the Howard Conservation Trust have brought us a crowd today. And we're very happy to welcome Molly Davidson and uh, Amy Kemp. They are Emily. interns, Emily Kemp, Emily. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I have it written down here, how about that? <laughs> and uh, so we're going to start with Molly. Molly's going to tell us a little bit about herself and most importantly, what she's doing with these two guys. Heavens a bit. Um, I'm from New York City. I'm going to be a junior at Colgate University. Um, I'm interning this summer at the Harwich Conservation Trust. So far, we've done a lot of property monitoring. We go to the trails, make sure that they're all clean and no branches hanging in the way of the paths. Um, we do computer work. We try to help organize some events such as the Raptor Show. So, yeah, it's been busy. Oh, very good. Emily. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I am going to be a sophomore at Hobart and William Smith Colleges. Um, I also row. I'm on the crew team. Um, and I'm interning this summer with Har Harwich Conservation Trust. Um, and I've been doing a lot of the same stuff as Molly. We work together a lot doing computer stuff, checking trails. Um, and one of our biggest projects lately has been working on the Birds of Prey show, which I'm very excited about. Very good. We should tell you that both um, Molly and Emily are living with grandparents, and uh, so they have a long association with Howitch, and uh, it's nice to be, have grandparents to stay with. I'm sure they're delighted to have both of you. Yeah, we're, we're very excited to have them aboard working Absolutely. on these projects, and we really could not uh, get as much done um, as we as as we could without them, um, it's just amazing the work they've been doing prepping for the Birds of Prey show. You're going to hear more about that in a moment from in the, from Ryan and uh, and also it's really our busiest time of year on the trails. We have right. so many people coming out on the trails. We really need to keep them in top shape, and that's what they've been doing among other things. Very good. We, you don't send them out there with a broom or anything. You know, to sweep the trails. So, <laughs> sometimes we do. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. We we actually uh, we have two other folks that um, are local that are helping us out this summer. Jarek Linden and uh, <coughs> Logan Faulkner, who are both uh, high school students, and they'll be in and out with our uh, trail crews Very good. Uh, over the summer. Uh, to get into the meat of the program, uh, Michael, you have a project, the uh, Mill Pond uh, project. The Mill like Pond Woodlands. Yeah. Woodlands, if you'd like to talk us about. Yeah, we're very pleased to um, uh, relay success with this 38-acre <coughs> project. Um, Harwich Conservation Trust has been leading the effort over the past three years or more uh, for a two-town collaboration between Town of Harwich, Town of Chatham, and our sister organization, the Chatham Conservation Foundation, to preserve these 38 acres in East Harwich. Town of Harwich chipped in a million, and Town of Chatham chipped in a million. Um, that was offset by a million dollars in state grants. This land is within the Wellfield recharge area for up to 11 public drinking water well sites. You see the map there on the screen. Um, you see the, the two uh, portions that are uh, the darkest shade there, the black um, shapes. Those are the two portions purchased uh, by each town. And the lighter shading, the gray, is the existing open space that connects to and surrounds these parcels. So they're connecting over 235 acres wow. of existing open space. And you, you see the blue dots there. Those are the public drinking water well sites. Thousands of people depend on those wells for their drinking water and their water supply, uh, both residents and visitors. So this was a, a tremendous project, tremendous cooperation between the two towns and the two land trusts. And we're glad that it came to successful conclusion. Now, did I read a headline in the Chronicle that said the oldest trust on the Cape and the newest? That's right. The, Cape, the, the Chatham Conservation Foundation is the oldest land trust on the Cape, and Harwich, Concentr Harwich Conservation Trust is the youngest, so it's great to partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Yeah. And uh, now it's up to you, Ryan. What are we doing? talking about the birds of prey. Oh, yes, the birds of prey. Uh, Harwich Conservation Trust is pleased to present once again Tom Riccardi, uh, bird expert, uh, birds of prey expert, raptor expert. Um, Tom spent 30 plus years as a game warden in, uh, in Vermont. Uh, and he, during that time, was very instrumental in the restoration of the, uh, the bald eagle in the Northeast. Um, in his retirement, he has not slowed down. The last 15, 20 years, he has 
uh, operated Massachusetts Bird Rehabilitation Center in Conway, Massachusetts. Um, some of these birds are absolutely incredible. Um, golden eagles, bald eagles, peregrine falcons, turkey vultures. Um, some of them you'll never, ever, ever see up close. Others you might see up in the air all the time, but never get as close as you will. On July 14th, shows at 3, 5, and 7 p.m. here at the Harwich Community Center. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for children under 12. Under 5 are recommended not to attend. Uh, really great. Uh, look forward to everybody being there. And Molly and Emily will be there as well, so you can, you can meet them. Uh, you might even meet Michael. <laughs> that's, a, that's a celebrity right there. <laughs> I've heard of some of these, but a turkey vulture now, is that a, yeah. a turkey who vultures on turkey, or well, is that like a, uh, yeah, another well, eagle yeah. or somebody? Well, it's a vulture, um, and it actually has no, no feathers on his head. And why would you want no feathers on your head? Well, if you add your, your face into a dead animal a lot, you don't want feathers on your head. And that's, what, that's what's on your screen right now is a turkey vulture. Um, a lot of these uh, raptors back in the 60s, 70s, um, before that, <coughs> were named after different, uh, different types of uh, birds that they would, or different things that they would eat. For example, a peregrine falcon was known as a duck hawk. And they were known as a duck hawk because literally, peregrine falcons are known to just dive in and in mid-flight, take a bird and boom, gone. See ya. Gone. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of our birds have uh, those other nicknames and turkey vulture just stuck as a stuck as a uh, common name for the turkey vulture. Very good, uh, Molly and Emily. I'm going to come back to you now. You told us a little bit about what you're doing for the conservation trust. What are you learning about conservation, and uh, how might it affect you in the future? Go um, ahead. <laughs> Well, I guess one thing that I've learned is how important it is to actually have the open space in Harwich. I mean, it's so nice to actually have all the land that we've cons that the Harwich Conservation Trust has conserved compared to other towns. Ryan was saying like Hyannis or like Yarmouth. It's so nice to have all the open space in Harwich. So very good. And so in the future, perhaps uh, when you settle somewhere, you, you might uh, join in with another conservation group. Yeah, definitely. What about you, Emily? We, you, um, you can have a say on this matter. <laughs> One of the things that uh, we help do sometimes is pull uh, weeds and invasive plants. And um, now I didn't really notice how invasive certain plants are before, but now that I notice, now that I know which kinds to look for, I see them everywhere. Um, and I've definitely learned like how important it is to like have you know local and native species every you know and to try and help keep them alive. Oh, very good. You're, you're doing well. You're, you're getting, getting people interested. And uh, you want to talk a little bit about the Winchmere uh, Oh, the, event. Yeah, the Winchmere event. July 28th, Thursday, July 28th, um, the Winchmere Beach Club is sponsoring, uh, is, is hosting a fundraising event for uh, Harwich Conservation Trust. Now, look at that uh, image there. That's across Winchmere Harbor on any given day in the summer. Um, just a beautiful scenic vista right there from, uh, looking south from, from um, 28. And the newly renovated Witchmere Beach Club, uh, formerly uh, uh, Thompson's Clam Bar, unknown to many, um, is right there in, in the distance. And uh, the Witchmere Beach Club is hosting this event on July 28th with featured speaker Dr. Harm DeBlay. He's an internationally known political geographer. Um, he's spoken uh, for multinational corporations, uh, for governments, uh, for government agencies, and even the U.S. State Department. I mean, this fellow is charismatic, engaging, insightful. He's going to talk about the power of place, how geography shapes the future. And of course, that resonates for the mission of the Harwich Conservation Trust, saving special places. Uh, we certainly have our own power of place that we seek to preserve here in Harwich on the Cape. Um, tickets are only $75 per person. That includes hors d'oeuvres and wine. There's also going to be a cash bar available for those interested in that. And it starts at 6 p.m. People can make reservations on our website, harwichconservationtrust.org. Uh, they can certainly stop by our office or mail us a check um, uh, or call for more information at our phone number 508-432-3997. It's going to be a great event, really the signature event of the summer. 
uh, and we're very grateful to Witchmere Beach Club to, for hosting this, uh, this, um, this really one-of-a-kind event. For an event like that, you would kind of need some reservations. Yes, we're asking folks to reserve in advance uh, by using our website, harwichconservationtrust.org. They can pay uh, online on a secure server uh, uh, with their credit card, or they can call us, and we can do it that way, uh, or certainly they can drop off or mail a check. Yeah, $75 per person. Okay, and uh, the time again? 6 p.m., mm -hmm. Thursday. July 28th. Very good. Space is limited, so uh, we hope folks will reserve sooner than later. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We can't wait to hear what Dr. Harm DeBlay um, has to say about the power of place. Very good. And, and the Witchbury Beach Club is just an amazing venue. We're very, yeah. very lucky to be able to have this event there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Really, yeah. it's just They've really very really special. Done, fixed it up beautifully. Yeah, they it's, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely good. gorgeous. Good. I've sailed past it many a day. <laughs> They'll let you in, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, they'll let me in. I don't know. But yeah, they'll let me in. For that one night. <laughs> for that one night. Okay. Well, thanks to uh, Molly and Emily for joining us today. And remember, uh, you can meet this group uh, on the uh, 13th of July right here at the Community 14th. Center. 14th. 14th of July. Yeah, for the Birds of Prey. For the Birds of Prey. And uh, the three shows. Three, three shows, 3, 5, five and, and 7, 7 p.m. And uh, $10 uh, donation. Uh, as usual, uh, which Heritage uh, Conservation Trust uh, seems to charge for all their events, and uh, they all draw very well. So uh, we uh, hope that uh, there'll be many of you there. And thank you again. Thank it's you. always great to see you guys. Uh, the first of the first of the month, uh, we're uh, moving along here, and uh, so uh, that's Heritage Conservation Trust for today. And uh, we uh, hope you will uh, join them. At July 28th and uh, July 14th.